This is problem 315b. And the idea here is to determine how much is to be deposited each uh, for each payday and when the deposit is to be made. So these are the paydays that we've got here. And we have the gross wages and the different withholdings. So if you add the withholdings, the FICA, OASDI, and the HI, plus the federal income tax. This column is your total withholdings, this last column. And this is what was withheld. So when we determine how much is to be deposited, we start with uh, what is withheld. So for the, for the 115 payday, the, uh, we withheld from the employees $612.30 and then the employer has to take, uh, has to pay their share. So you take the total wages of $34,200 and you times that by the employer's OASDI and HI to find out what the employer has to kick in. Add those two together and this is the amount that is to be withheld. And then you report that amount on the 941 Schedule B, where um, it indicates the different paydays. So in the first month, we made a payday on the 15th, and that's the amount that we have to pay, 87.28.60. So let's look at what we're going to pay for the next payday. The next payday was on January 31st, and we withheld 59.4885. So we start with 59.4885 on the 31st. The employer take the total gross wages of 32.9, times it by the employer's FICA. Get yeah, twenty five sixteen eighty five. Add the two together, and this is the deposit that has to be made for the thirty first. So we'll take that amount and put it in here on the thirty first. So for the month of January, add those two together, and that's the total liability. And notice up here uh, for the report, you're doing this for the first quarter. So we've just done January, and then this is February and. Uh, May, and they're calculated the same way, and then you add the three up, and that's your total liability for the quarter right here. So the process is the same. I, I'm not showing all the calculations for every single month, uh, but you just basically take what was withheld, and that's the employee, and that's what EE stands for, employee and employer stands for ER. This doesn't stand for emergency room. Um, it's just a shortcut way of designating the employee's version uh, contribution and the employer. So the uh, part B is now that we know how much we're to deposit, when is the deposit due? So using the 2013 calendar, pull out a calendar as you do this so you can see how to do it. And you first have to identify what day of the week do these paydays fall on. So I wrote these down. Tuesday, Monday, Friday, Thursday, Friday, Friday. So the rule is for a semi-weekly depositor, the, um, you have to make the deposit within three business days of the semi-weekly period. And if any one of the three business days is a non-business day, you add one additional business day to the due date. So what that means is if the payday is on a Wednesday, Thursday, or a Friday, which would be basically these last four, then uh, it's due the following Wednesday. But if it's on a Saturday, Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday, which is these two, then it's due the following Friday. So you pull out your calendar and 
the uh, if this is a Tuesday, the following Friday is January 18th. For Monday, the following Friday is February 16th. For Actually, I made a mistake. January 31st is a uh, Thursday. And it is due on 2-6, February 6th, the following Friday. Uh, okay, February 15th is due on a Friday. So it, uh, I mean, that comes on a Friday, so it's due on 2.20. Uh, this one is 3.16. Yep, just look at a calendar, you can track this. 3.20. Uh, actually, something's fishy with that. Hang on a second, let me look and see. Yeah, I did the same thing. It's 3.6. I can't read my own writing. Uh, so that's basically um, how you calculate the amount to be deposited and the due date. So again, remember, this is what you have withheld from the employee. Then the employer has to match it, or not match it, it's matching some of it, certainly not matching the, the federal uh, income tax. Um, and then you add the two together and that's the amount that has to be deposited.